Hi, this is Patrick from STH. We recently received some feedback that changes to Proxmox and Docker have led to issues with the combination we used in our ultimate virtualization container dev setup. The result of those changes is that if you installed using ZFS, the default Docker installation will cause the system to fail mounting the RPool and reboot. This is extremely frustrating, so we have a quick video guide on how to get this working. To get started, we're going to install Docker. We are using the old wget method, which is not recommended, but it's faster for the purposes of this tutorial. You can see that the default installation now uses the ZFS storage driver. That is good. However, it's also the cause of the issue that we're seeing with the system not being able to reboot after you create a container. So the first step we need to do is we need to stop the Docker service so that way we can apply the fix. Under varlib, we're going to delete the Docker directory, and then we're going to create a new ZFS mount point for varlib docker at rpool slash docker. This is done assuming that you only have a ZFS rpool available in the system. If you have another ZFS pool that you want to use for your data, then you should change the rpool slash docker to a different location. In fact, if possible, this is exactly what you want to do. Next, we're going to create a systemd docker service d directory, and in that directory, we're going to create a storage driver configuration file. Here we're going to tell the Docker daemon to use the ZFS storage driver. We're going to then restart the daemons and the Docker service. We can pull a test container to ensure that Docker is working properly. And after we see Docker is working, we can then reboot. And you'll see that instead of getting stuck at the zpool import prompt, everything works. This is another step that you'll need to do if you want to run Docker on the base Proxmox Debian installation. If you're running in a VM, it's not an issue, and you certainly should change the ZFS pool that you're using if you have other storage in the system, but sometimes you only have a drive or two, and so you may have to go and use our pool slash Docker like we're doing here. Thank you for watching. Take some time to visit the STH main site, check out other videos we have, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.